I now request Professor Rodam Narsima of JNCASR and a member of the ICTS Advisory Board to say a few words. During its uh, short history, I would say spent around ICTS. Well, it is in the first place multi and interdisciplinary, but those are words which we quite widely use. But I think the choice of these subjects, mathematics, physics, biology, and there are centers for these subjects elsewhere. I'm particularly excited by the inclusion of earth sciences and computers. Well, that's my bias, but I want to say that to put all of these in one place uh, is something that India badly needed and is an extraordinary initiative that ICTS has taken. Because when you put earth sciences, computer science, and mathematics together, it's a very powerful combination for those like me in my tribe of, uh, let's say, whether you want to call it fluid dynamics or uh, atmospheric sciences or uh, aerospace technology. It's, it's a combination which is very powerful for uh, the problems that it handles are scientifically very challenging and nationally and globally very important. And the greatest advances uh, in these subjects are actually occurring at the borders between those disciplines. And it's no longer possible for people to work by themselves. We need, uh, in particular in India, I think, we have badly needed a center where people from the earth sciences, computer sciences, and mathematics can all be under one roof and keep talking about these problems. I consider that a path-breaking initiative that ICTS has taken. Well, I hope you'll pardon me if I say a few words about uh, the sort of things that have uh, been my own scientific interest. If you look at uh, the earth sciences, the atmosphere, the oceans, and the solid, solid and fluid earth, uh, you find that the central scientific problem, uh, once again, I, I beg your pardon for saying this, the central scientific problem is really turbulent flows. Now, this is not an accident. Uh, well, Feynman called it the last unsolved problem or the greatest unsolved problem in classical physics. And von Neumann said some 60, 70 years ago, that is the first clear-cut case of the failure of statistical mechanics. Both of his statements remain true even today. I've just been reading Arnold Breitschaudry's book on the third cycle, as he calls it, solar cycle. I don't know whether he's in the audience here. And um, fascinating account there of sunspots and solar cycles. And I was amused to find that the place where the solar physicist gets stuck is exactly the same place as the engineers get stuck. Uh, well, whether you're predicting the flow in a pipe or in solar physics, the fundamental difficulty is the same. And this center, by the emphasis that is uh, put on these uh, new entrants, I would say, to the fundamental sciences, <laughs> I think has uh, taken a great initiative. And I expect that in coming years, with the faculty they have here, um, India will have a new center for making progress on problems which, which involve, uh, well, the globe as a whole, from climate change to the monsoons, a perennial problem in India, and a variety of other issues connected with the oceans as well. So um, if you look at some spots, I want to predict the next cycle. If you can predict 
the next cycle, you can predict the next flash in the pipe. If you can predict the next flash in the pipe, you'll be able to predict what happens in the next cycle on the sun. So it's, it's a very deep and fundamental problem. I think the combination of program elements, research, and outreach that ICTS has adopted is unique. I think it has an exciting future. And I'm very privileged to have been part of it. And thanks, Spenta, for making me a professor here first and a member of the advisory council. I want to congratulate uh, Spenta for all the extraordinary thinking and effort he has put in into the building of the center. I don't mean just these physical assets, but of its people and of its programs. And uh, I'm very glad to see uh, that the legacy of Hogi Baba is alive and strong. And Spenta is leading uh, this new activity, uh, uh, furthering a tradition that Baba set up long ago. So I want to congratulate him, congratulate TIFR, congratulate the DAE, and even, after what David Gross has said, congratulate the government of India for, and Karnataka for making this possible. Thank you very much, Spenta. Thank you, Professor Narsima.